Hello, how's everybody doing? Borada, Nosta, Primanda, I think it's Primanda. Talking in Welsh now. It was German yesterday, now it's Welsh. <laughs> but in English, hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hope you're all well. Looking forward to Wales, we're going there in. When we go in March, March 29th, I think it is, or 30th, or something like that. Lorraine's got the dates. I can never remember dates. Can anybody else? No. <laughs> I think women remember dates more than us men do, don't they? Certainly do. Yeah. Anyway, today we're going to do the traditional uh, fish and chips. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I do like a bit of fish. I do like something a bit fishy. I do. So the first thing we need to do is get chips ready. So we're going to cut the spudaroonie today into some chipperoonies. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this today. Oh, well, I'm going to cut then. Well, a little bit difficult to cut. Now, this is quite a big potato. So what I'm going to do is just do the one potato today, I think. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Who remembers that little rhyme? So just the one potato. These are quite big. Now I wasn't really keen on that meal I had last night. Okay, the if you saw it, it was the what's it called? Cumberland sausage slices. Now I wasn't too keen. I can't say it was the best thing I'd ever tasted. A bit too much garlic in it for my liking. So I will be giving that a miss, but I'm willing to try anything new that, or, or that I've not had before. It wasn't new, but anything that I've not had before. So what I'm going to ask you to do for me, if you see anything new, any new products in ideally at Tesco or Astro or Iceland, let me know. Or anything that you think I might like what I've not shown on the channel before, give me a few ideas. I have had one idea from Carol Williams, which is omelette, so we'll do that one day. We'll just need some new eggs, actually, before we make the omelette. But we'll make an omelette one day and see how that does in an air fryer. Can you make omelette in an air fryer? Ooh, we shall see. You can make eggs in an air fryer. You can, yeah, fried eggs. You can fry an egg in an, in an air fryer. We might have to do the omelette in the frying pan, I'm not sure. But we shall see. Keep looking up these recipes. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you all. For the channel as well. Because I love doing these meals. I do. Because it does. When you're making a meal for one. And I did, I did put this as a post yesterday. When you're making a meal for one. It can be so boring. It can. You're going to lose your appetite a little bit. But doing this for y'all, being able to natter to you while I'm cooking, does bring my appetite back a bit. So, so I'm always thinking of ideas. What can we make next? What can we make next? Sometimes we may be repeating things, but we're going to do this on quite a regular basis now. We'll still be doing the out and about videos and other videos as well, don't we? I don't think we're going to change the channel of Southern to a cooking channel. Uh, we, we, yeah, we've got other things as well. We've got days planned out already. We've got all of these boots for this year. Got a few things coming up. Yeah, some exciting times ahead. That's if the weather ever warms up, of course, because it's been so cold, hasn't it? It's been freezing. I today woke up. And I woke up quite late, still cutting this potato up, I woke up quite late and all I wanted to do was just throw the duvet over myself and just go back to sleep. I've had one of them days today. I just want to curl up in bed and just go back to sleep and just stay there for the next 24 hours or something like that. And I got up quite late, like I say. Is that there watching snooker? Ronnie O'Sullivan were playing this afternoon. 
this is a big potato. I've been, I've been all day. Everyone else will often were playing this afternoon. And they won. Some of you might be into snooker, some of you might not, but yeah, we all know Sullivan, probably the best snooker player. It's going to be a good player one day, him. Yes, yeah. Well, it's fantastic, is our Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sullivan. Probably beat one of my other favourite players, but they can't both win, can they? Because they played against Barry Hawkins, and I do like Barry Hawkins as well. I'm looking forward to the final. But all I wanted to do then was just sit on the couch and sit on the couch and do nothing all day. Yeah. It was. I don't know if I'm motivated at the moment. I think I've got the January blues. Now that, that last Monday was called Blue Monday. When everybody starts getting the January blues, you know, after Christmas and all that. I think mine came four days late. What's this potato like? I do keep my potatoes in the fridge. Because they do last longer in the fridge. But I'm not sure you should always keep them in the fridge because of protein and things like that. But mine, yeah. They always keep them in the fridge. Anybody got any advice? Would you keep them in the fridge or would you keep them anywhere else? And that's got a little black bit on it there. So I'm going to have to cut that out. Get a little knife and just give that a little cut. I don't want black bits in my chips. <laughs> that's just flung off then. <laughs> oh, it did. These potatoes are, uh, have lasted a couple of weeks, but I think it's time to start the new bag now. <laughs> so yeah, any advice? Would you keep your chips and chips in the fridge, or would you keep your chips in like a vegetable rack, which I haven't got, but I can get a vegetable rack? Any advice you can give me? It's always welcome. It really is. Now let's cut these into chips. Dog old chippy one, right? Have a break. <laughs> Oh, crikey, right. That was a bit difficult to cut. A little bit hard. They're getting a bit hard, these potatoes. They've been growing them in the hard field again. Anybody do remember going to the chippy and getting... When I come from Manchester originally. And we used to call them scratchings. Do you know those little... Chips, what you get at the end of a bag of chips. And I remember my mum always telling me that she used to go to the chippy and say, Give us a bag of chips and some scratchings. Probably got a different name around other places, but yeah. And I like them myself. No, Lorraine doesn't like them, she always throws them away. But not like a bit of scratchings. Now to put the chips in my bowl and to get them. Yeah, there's plenty of chips here. Plenty of chipperoonies. A bit of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil you want to. I was told by somebody the other day that uh, olive oil is actually the best oil to use. Now that needs something, I think. Have we got some in the old one? Let me have a look. I think we've got some in the old one. So we'll give that a little... Yeah. That's all, isn't it? I'm just, I'm just checking it's not limeade or something. I've done that nearly before today, you know. I made in nearly by accident. I remember one time, I, were, I made some chips and they were looking for the salt. And they were looking in the cupboard. Looking everywhere. I could not find this salt looking in all the cupboards. Sat down for a while and thought, no, it must be somewhere that salt. Mm. Start looking in cupboards again. Anyway, I put it in the fridge. I don't know why I put it in the fridge, but yeah, it was in the fridge. I didn't find it while I went for some milk. <laughs> That's the kind of daft thing I do, you see. So they are definitely doused in oil. 
Now you can actually put them in some water for an hour if you want to. Just wash my hands. Yeah, you can put them into some oil, into some water for an hour if you want to. That's just to soften them a little bit or something. I don't know. I did that once, and it doesn't seem to make sense because they're just as good going in just with the oil on. You can also parboil them as well if you want to, because it does soften them a little bit. But they are the perfect the way I do them. It took me a while to find out how to do chips in the air fryer, but yeah, they are perfect. I love them anyway. And I hope if you try it yourself, you'll love it too. So there's our fish. Now, now it's thawed out. It doesn't seem a very big bit of fish, but don't know if you can cook these ones. Well. No, I'll just show you the bag. It is from Tesco. I think it's from Tesco, this one. Yeah, from Tesco. They are Tesco cod fillets. Not sure how much they are. Uh, and they are hand cut cod, frozen for freshness to lock in flavour. How does it say you can cook from frozen? You can put them in the oven, you can put them in the microwave. I don't know if you can cook them from frozen. So it says for best results, I cook them frozen. I don't know how that's going to work because uh, I'm going to put some some stuff on them. So if I'm cooking them from frozen, I don't think they will cook. So I'm putting the stuff on when they're out. Anyway. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do to them. And before, well, just think that was that was swimming in the sea, sea not long ago. Yeah, and this bloke caught it like this. And if I went fishing, I'd end up just like him. I did go fishing years ago actually with my dad, because my dad was a keen fisherman. And there'll be a lot of fishermen and fishing people watching this, fishing people, fishing men and fishing women. Or whatever you want to call them these days, because everybody's uh, fishing, fish, fishing persons. <laughs> Is that better? Fishing persons. So I went with my dad. I were bored. I was so bored watching this thing bob up and down on the water like that. Ugh. <laughs> and I got me tangled all caught up, and then when I caught the fish, I was of taking off the yoke. Yeah, we were absolutely frightened of taking off the yoke. <laughs> so I, I never went again. <laughs> I know I'm a soft cat, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I had teeth and were going to bite me. <laughs> but, um, well, you never know, do you? I think fish's teeth are in the back of the mouth, are they? Somewhere in the back of the mouth. Some have them at the front, but I think, uh, I think goldfish have teeth at the back of the mouth, anyway. We don't catch them, do you? No, you're not exactly going to dangle your rod all for the fish bowl and catch the fish. No, it's, that's not advisable. Not advisable at all. Right, let's get on with the fish. So first of all, you need an egg. That's an egg. And what you do with an egg, this is a couple of weeks old, this egg, but eggs last longer than it says from the packet. You put it into the bowl. Now, we did this wrong the other day. If it sinks, then it's fresh. If not, if it floats to the top, sorry, it's not fresh. So that egg is definitely fresh. Because that's sunk to the bottom and staying on the bottom. So that's, how we, that's an egg test to see if an egg is fresh, if it's a couple of weeks old. Like I said, they do last longer than they stay on the packet as well. Now we need to whisk this egg first. Like that. I'm sure you know to whisk an egg. Right, let's get the, <laughs> let's get the fork and give it a whisk. Oh dear. We'll make an omelette one day. That's a good idea. As Carol Williams suggested. Oh, anybody else got any suggestions? Because I'll run out of ideas. Like I say, we will be repeating a few things, but uh, I just like a natty while I'm cooking. And now the chips are going to be quicker than the. 
fish, so I'm going to put the chips in first. Right, so I'll throw the chips in there. See if that can. My little mat on there doesn't go right. Right, uh, I think it's your dish. Right, they'll be fine. Right, no, it's going to be too much fat in there, so I'm going to take that out of there. I don't actually need that in today, so we're all right. Because that's going to be too much uh, fat in that air fryer now. So I'm just going to give, so if you do that, give it a wipe down. And get your chips on. I don't say you don't really. That's 180 for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. So 180. Did I say 25 minutes? Yeah, about. About 20, 25 minutes, something in between that. Now while that's cooking, you can actually get your fish ready as well. Now we're going to use something called Ruskillin. Ruskillin fish sauce. Fish dressing even. Which is just there. It does come in a box, but Lorraine brought me this at Christmas. And I've not used it yet, so it could actually use cold and drink drums. It would work in the same way as well. So, uh, for Ruskillin... You can get it in corp or coop or co-op or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I don't know where else you can get it. I've not seen it in Tesco or anywhere, but they may have it. I don't know. You'll have to look around for that. But like I say, you can use golden breadcrumbs in a way if you want to. Work the same way as this. And what you do first is the egg what you've already whisked, you put into there, like so. Then you get your fish, and you just drown it in the egg. So you cover it all over like that. Make sure it's all covered really nicely. Pick up as much as you can on the egg. Keep turning it, keep tossing it, keep turning it. Then all you need to do Get your muscular in or your drink drum or whatever. Open it first because it's not going to work if you don't open it first. And then put it over the plate, a plate, any plate. Get your fish. I love making these simple food ideas and I hope it's inspiring some people as well. And then you just roll it in there like that. Yeah, just roll it in. Get as much covered as you can on there. Let it pick up. Put it on if you need to. It's not quite covered that, so I'm going to try and pick some up and put it on. They can cook it in the oven. Or you can cook it in the air fryer, which is basically an oven anyway. I don't know how to call it an air fryer. Because an air fryer is basically a little oven. So you can cook it in there as well. So that's covered to the best it will cover. Depends on what check you pick up, I suppose. Oh, there you go. And then we're going to stick that into the air fryer as well. So we will place our Turn the camera around a little bit. We'll place our ruskillin covered fish into the air fryer with the chips. It should all cook together. Lovely fish and chips. Let me get a little, what do you call it, spatula or a lifter or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll just place that in there like that. Probably drop to some of it will drop to the bottom of the grid, but that doesn't matter. Put it back into the air fryer, and away we go. Now I'm hoping this is going to work because I've never done it in an air fryer before, so I'm testing it as well. But like I say, an air fryer is basically a little oven, so and if you can cook in an oven, you can probably cook in the air fryer. Apart from rice, which I found out because I had a chicken and rice. Well, those ready meal things. Would the rice cook or would the rice not cook at all? I kept trying it and putting it back in and no, it wouldn't work. 
the, the, the curry works all right. But yeah, so rice is one thing, unless there's a recipe for rice, I will have to look that up somewhere. Will this fish work in here? I hope so. Turn over halfway through, like I say, and we'll come back to it in a second. Oh, for, I should say first, cook it for about uh, 15 minutes. Something like 15 minutes. This with the chips, they can take about 25, so about 15 or 20 minutes. As long as it's cooked through at the end, it'll be fine. We'll see when, it's, when we'll come back to the next clip. Now it's halfway through cooking, so let's take a look. Oh, this is looking delicious. This is looking good. Give those chips a bit of a toss around as well. There you go. That fish is looking delicious. See how it's coated on there and it stayed on there as well. I will turn that round. And we'll let it finish its last little bit. Got about, oh, nine minutes to go. Because I don't think we'll like burnt fish, will we? Now we're going to have with it. I would normally have mushy peas, but I don't think I've got any mushy peas in. So I like nothing better than fish chips and mushy peas. Especially at the seaside, where we ever get to seaside again if it ever warms up again. It will do. Get through this month, get through half the next month, and we'll be back at the seaside again. I think I have fish and chips near the sea. Oh, I can't wait. Looking forward to that. Back to my favourite place again. You know what my favourite place is? If you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know what my favourite place is. If you go to the channel, you will do. My favourite place is. Uh, St. Adams. <laughs> and they couldn't remember where we were calling. Yes, St. Adams. So I can't wait to get back to St. Adams again. Near Blackpool, and we will be going to Blackpool again shortly as well when it warms up. Back to Rill again, back to Wales. So we're going back to Wales. we got a few trips ahead of us. And then we're going to do Charlie. <laughs> no, Charlie's not right. And we're going to do. Uh... Oh, Charlie, I live for you. No, we're going to do Wigan as well. So everybody in Wigan will be coming over there, so look out for me around there. Maybe a few new places this year as well when it warms up. There's a place I really want to go to, but I don't know if I'm going to get there, yet, which is a place in Yorkshire called Olmfirth, where last year's summer wine were filmed. And that's one place I would really, really love to go to. I don't know yet. I think they do a few coach trips around there, so I might be able to get on a coach trip and go there. We've got plenty coming up, plenty of cooking videos as well. We're going to carry on the cooking videos. I've also got the karaoke videos, but I've decided not as much because we'll be doing the karaoke on the live. So if you're not seeing our live, yeah, go and see our live, which we did on what day was it now? Monday night, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, I think. So, and we'll be doing more lives as well, not just the karaoke ones. We're going to be doing other ones as well. We'll, we'll just have to with each other, come and chat with us, come and have a bit of fun with us, and yeah, got all sorts of new channel planned. And I hope you will enjoy and carry on, carry on watching it. Carry on, yeah. And uh, tell your friends about it as well. Tell your friends that there's no, there's no case in Lancashire for <laughs> doing these videos. We've got <laughs> even if you live around the world, because we've got people around the world as well. I was talking to somebody yesterday from Toronto. That's in Canada, isn't it? Do I know my uh, history? No geography. No geography, yeah. So we've got people all around the world as well. The world famous have fun times and good times. <laughs> Spread the word, keep sharing the videos. Yeah, share them. Put a like on it, don't forget to put a like on it because if you like it, YouTube do promote it more. We can make our channel bigger because this is our channel, not just my channel, but our channel. So we can make it bigger as well. Well, I'll stop rabbiting on now because that's nearly cooked. Then we'll take it out and have a look. We're going to put yesterday's peas on, by the way, because I've got yesterday's peas that we put in the fridge, if you remember. So, I wish I had some mushy peas, but no, I haven't. So, we're going to put them on and have them with this lovely fish and chips. So, that should be cooked now. Oh, look at this. It's absolutely delicious. Looks a little bit burnt, but I like things 
overcooked a little bit. Let's get it out on the plate. What's my little fish thing gone? I'll have to give that a wash because it's full of the dried uh, rusky lint. So let's get this on to the plate. Oh. I'm going to check that fish is cooked inside first because uh, let me just cut a little bit and just check it is cooked. Like I said, I've never done it in an air fryer before, so I don't know. Let's have a look. If it's flaky, it's cooked. That is definitely, yeah, that's cooked. That's, that's definitely flaky. That, yeah, that is delicious. Right, uh, let's check it's flaky when you cook it. Right, now to put the chips out. They won't turn upside down like we did the other day, it? Well, <laughs> although we will get the chips all over the side. They call it a side? <laughs> I know in Scotland you call it a bunker. My name won't be that, a bunker. I thought a bunker was where you kept your uh, coal. <laughs> So we'll put the chips out. Without looking the camera over, which I nearly did. That's all covered. Back over. I've woken up again now. Because like I said, I've been feeling a bit knackered all day. <laughs> but I've woke up a bit now. Set on there, get the peas out next. Let's have a look at this. So we'll get the peas out. And then we've gone a bit hot. I think I didn't lift that quite on the cooker as much as it should have been. You should always turn your pan handles away from you, which I forgot to do again. I'm always forgetting that and getting told off off Lorraine. I'm Tyler Rain, yes, I'm always doing that. You're always telling me off for that. And I always forget. But say yes, Ian. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> okay, so. We have got our lovely fish chips and peas. Doesn't that look delicious? It needs something on it. It needs something on it. It needs some red sauce. A lot of people will have tartar sauce. I'll have red sauce. Oh, there you go. Loads of red sauce everywhere. I eat red sauce with everything, mate. I really could. There you go. Now it looks delicious. Oh, yes. Now we're going to have a bound cake with it, I think, as well. Have we got any bound cakes? I think we've got some bound cakes somewhere. So let's butter a bound cake. Now we call them bound cakes in Lancashire. Where they're free from in the country, you'll have different words for them. What do you call them where you are? I'm going to put some butter on that. Gonna be delicious. So it's band cakes in Lancashire. I know in Scotland it's a roll. I keep telling Lorraine it's not called a roll, it's called a bound cake. So it's called a roll. I said no, it's a bound cake. <laughs> so it depends on which part of the country you're from and uh which part of the UK or from around the world you might call them something different as well. But we call them bound cakes, eh? So we're going to have fish chips, bound cake. And it looks delicious. Bit of salt and vinegar on as well. Always put your vinegar on first because... Otherwise... No, always put your salt on first. So, no, put your, yeah, I'll get that right in a minute. Put your vinegar on first, which I should have done before I put the red sauce on. Then you put your salt on. Otherwise, the vinegar would wash the salt away. So go and throw that on there like that. Throw the rest over there or over your left shoulder or whatever you want to do if you're superstitious. We've got a lovely meal. Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you're going to enjoy your fish, chips and peas. Like I said, it's rather, rather mushy. We've not got any mushy. We've just got normal peas today. But uh, So I hope you'll enjoy your fish, chips and peas if you do make it. 
just think this channel, if you don't know what to make for your tea, or your dinner if you're posh, posh people call it dinner, I call it tea, yeah, well, <laughs> you can always come to this channel and have a look, because we only make simple things, we do, we don't make any, we're not going to make anything too strenuous, no, just simple things, simple healthy, simple, well, simple healthy meals, look at that play, I don't think it's quite an healthy meal, but simple meals, yeah, so, keep watching, keep smiling, we'll do something else tomorrow, or the next day, or whatever, okay, keep smiling, keep, uh, look after yourselves, the main thing, if you've got any Jangariri blues like I've got, don't worry about it, it'll soon be over, I feel a bit happier now I've done this, <laughs> so, okay, Keep smiling as I say, walking on sunshine. And remember, fun times are always good times. Ciao for now. See you soon.